Hello there, Tyrant here, and I just finished watching episode 8 of After the Rain, and <laughs> it's another lovely episode right after the events from last uh, last week with um, uh, that moment in the typhoon, which uh, after re-watching that scene, the, the embrace scene, that strike of lightning lasted so long. So that's kind of the only kind of thing that I I realized afterwards you know for the moment the scene was beautifully done but that strike of lightning that was uh that was like intense <laughs> but no but uh we get to now see kind of like a little bit of the aftermath and starting the episode out it kind of does this weird intro of the characters and it's odd and it's like it kind of feels slightly like a different story just because how it intros and narrates itself uh i find it quite humorous um to the point where it gets to a point where uh where um uh, uh kondo is kind of like he's trying to really emphasize that they're friends he's tr still he's still trying to create I would say a relative safe space between the two of them uh, just to make sure he doesn't hurt her while um, he doesn't get hurt himself um, but as this story progressed as this episode progressed she's truly adamant about being she's the one taking steps forward in trying to make this relationship work there's a scene uh where the two girls are talking in the break room and uh in that's kind of the talk of adolescence you know uh people trying to or trying to get to to know uh others uh, slightly better and it's kind of hard and sometimes challenging for people to uh muster up that that opportunity and you know what's funny strangely enough I was watching a stream uh, just the like hours ago where they were talking about uh, relationships and love and it's really weird after watching this episode kind of just the thought process because of how uh, these two characters are trying to do on top of that um, you know we, we, there's also other characters who are trying to find their first um relationship as well uh with oh shoot i forgot the those two the the blonde girl and the that dude uh you know they're he, she's doing her best and he's still kind of just floaty uh but there was this weird scene that just like surprised me where you know he uh kondo kind of just mentioned you know you gotta cut your hair you know you work at a restaurant uh which sucked for me since i have extremely long hair um and I would probably have to end up either cutting it or wearing a hairnet. Uh, but, um, and, you, know, there, you know, after this whole, like, scene with Tachibana and uh, Kondo, like, like, kind of, in a way, forcefully uh, trying to get closer to him by, you know, texting him. You know, it's just little steps, and it's very enjoyable when she just... Know, gets giddy over these little things um but the, the, the odd thing that got me a little bit and just made me like move was as she was leaving after getting his uh, email uh you saw those two outside the outside the restaurants cutting hair and i'm like huh okay that's a that's a thing <laughs> it's just a thing that just got me you know like <laughs> Um, there's two more parts to this episode. We get the mid scene with uh, uh, Tachibana's friend. Uh, I think her name's. I can't remember her name at the top of my head at the moment. But, you know, we've been seeing a little bit more of her and. And, um. And her kind of relationship with Tachibana. Like, we've known. We know that she's been childhood friends with her, but as of late, they have not been close. Um, and it's um, kind of getting to the both of them. Tajibana not as much as what we can tell because it looks like she's kind of um, distracted herself with other things, with work, with school, 
and uh, with uh, Mr. Kondo, uh, Kondo, Kong? Kondo, God, I gotta properly remember his name, um, but, uh, well, God, I can't remember her name, but her friend, she's really kind of just been focusing on track, but it's on, it's been on the back of her mind and stuff, and so when, um, the, this new character arrives, the ex-soccer captain, um, to just kind of, you know, intervene in this scene and talk, and it's a good eye-opener for the childhood friend, um, you know, it's, like, we later see, toward the, at the end of the episode, you know, both, uh, Tachibana and her childhood friend are still, you know, in the, in the back of their minds, they're still want to talk, get together, but it's hard for the both of them, uh, since they've lost one of the, I would say, one of the few important things that they enjoy doing and talking about. Um, so it can just create a rift between them. Um, so when, after having this talk, uh, which was <laughs> like reasonably done, mostly because of a, a person who himself was injured and cannot properly do uh, the sport that he wishes to do. Um, that, that, that in itself was a very great little thing. And the final part of this episode would be a kind of like the final act. I would say, you know, we there is that scene with Tachibana getting with her childhood friend, but I would say the third act of this episode where, <laughs> like, I, like, it's been implied, it's always during the rain that these little moments, like intense moments get, uh, where Tachibana is kind of just doing her remedial homework and, um, you know, and like, in the beginning of the episode, I forgot to mention that, you know, there's this, uh, she has a pimple on her right cheek, and it's really, that's a part, I was like, okay, like, is this gonna be, for a second when I saw that pimple, I was like gonna think, is this gonna be her kind of just, uh, like, uh, being embarrassed a lot, but no, it's kind of just load, uh, but she did get embarrassed during the third act of this episode, uh, when she was about to put some pimple cream on, and it's just like, um, but, you know, as Mr. Kondo just walked in, he sat down to do his work. Uh, he kindly asked to uh, about what she's doing and all that. Uh, and as she mentioned, she was working on um, modern Japanese, if I remember correctly. <clears throat> and if it's anything like English in America, you literally have to read books. And so, what's interesting is when when you mention something that other people are passionate about, you know, you get really excited about that subject. You get, you want to talk about it. Like, oh, like you play that game? You like that book? You watch that show? Like, really? And you, and it just hypes the person out. And when you see Mr. Kondo just kind of, uh, just uh, really enthusiastic about it, <laughs> really uh, interesting. But this gives Tachibana another insight on to how passionate he is about it. And things like that uh, and he kind of just kind of sits down with her and kind of goes over this uh, this piece of literature with her and just kind of just talks about the story and it's really intriguing um, mostly the the tale that was being told and off the top of my head I can't really remember but it was a really well done story with a good um, a good what is, what is it that idea, what's the word, when you get taught a, it's like a, not a parable, fuck, but you just get taught, a taught a lesson, and, or, you know, kind of a, a lesson or an idea, I'm kind of being lost at that thought, but <laughs> it's interesting when they're just sitting across each other, just kind of talking about this, like, just two people and it's just something so simplistic but can be enjoyed for the both of them uh the only other last lasting impression of this episode was as he she was kind of he was skimming through her uh, literature book he found uh, that umbrella drawing that our last male character found and it freaked him out it was really hilarious but yeah, that's kind of that's kind of it for my thoughts 
Um, there's a lot in this episode now that I'm really thinking about it, but uh, let's see how next week will continue on. It's episode 8, so we only have 9, 10, 11, 12, 4 more episodes, and we'll see how this occurs. So, thanks again for watching. Until next time.